In today's fast-paced life, it is quite a challenge to keep work and home running parallel to each other. Under the pressure to report for work on time, and to meet work deadlines, working people often forget to turn off their home appliances which could pose as a great danger and would lead wastage of valuable resources like fuel, electricity, etc. Much of the research these days is focused on controlling only the DVD, television, VCR, and other audio and video devices. Though useful, its use is limited. Air pollutants interact with and break down plant-emitted scent molecules, which insect pollinators use to locate needed food, according to a team of researchers led by Penn State. The pollution-modified plant odors can confuse bees and, as a result, bees' foraging time increases and pollination efficiency decreases. This happens because the chemical interactions decrease both the scent molecules' lifespans and the distances they travel. The features of the present model of the remote can be further used to develop an Android application that can be supported on the phone. This will allow our smartphone to act like a universal remote control. Also the remote can be made fully touch screen to give a better look to it. Given the current trends, this can be incorporated in the coming years. In case of failure of any components or sensors, the remote detects the failure as absence of response from the device, during the two-way handshake communication. In such a situation, an emergency is notified to the user, and the user can send appropriate commands to control it, without having to physically go near the device, thus avoiding the jeopardy of their safety.
The undersea hot springs, which lies 0.8 km deeper than any seen before, may be hotter than 450 degrees Celsius and are shooting a jet of mineral-laden water more than a kilometer into the ocean above. Despite these extreme conditions, the vents are teeming with thousands of a new species of shrimp that has a light-sensing organ on its back. And having found yet more black smoker vents on an undersea mountain nearby, the researchers suggest that deep-sea vents may be more widespread around the world than anyone thought. Warmer winters, however, mean more rain. The rain falls on snow, where it freezes, thus locking out the reindeer from the food beneath the snow. As a result, the reindeer starve, aborting their calves or giving birth to much lighter young. The third factor at play is that over the past 20 years, reindeer numbers have doubled, so greater competition for food in winter could also help explain the shrinking reindeer. The implications are that there may well be smaller reindeer in the Arctic in the coming decades but possibly at risk of catastrophic die-offs because of increased ice on the ground. To understand the origins of specific musical anhedonia, researchers recruited 45 healthy participants who completed a questionnaire measuring their level of sensitivity to music and divided them into three groups of sensitivity based on their responses. The test subjects then listened to music excerpts inside an fMRI machine while providing pleasure ratings in real time. To control for their brain response to other reward types, Participants also played a monetary gambling task in which they could win or lose real money.
Since first detected 10 years ago, fast radio bursts have puzzled astronomers. Unlike pulsars, they flash irregularly, most only once, and only for milliseconds. And they seem to come from outside the galaxy, meaning they are very energetic. A team of astronomers has now localized the only repeating burst, to a distant dwarf galaxy. The researcher who created the rapid data collection and analysis software sees a connection to magnetors. A University of Colorado Boulder study shows that when rounding curves, Paralympic sprinters wearing left leg prostheses are slowed more than athletes with right leg amputations a disadvantage that could cost them dearly in official competition. The study showed lower left leg amputee athletes sprinting in the inside lane of an indoor track ran about 4% slower than athletes with right leg amputations. Based on that, the researchers estimate a 0.2 second difference in an outdoor 200 meter race. Previous research has shown that people tend to sacrifice, on average, about 40 minutes of sleep when they spring forward to daylight saving time, and even this small amount of lost sleep can have negative consequences, including an increase in workplace injuries, slacking off at work, and auto accidents. The results of this new research suggest that shortened sleep associated with the change to daylight saving time might also affect the severity of sentences doled out by judges.
In active conversation, we need to remember the whole sentence in working memory to understand the other person. Working memory has a small capacity that can be maintained in the active mind. As a result, this limited capacity working memory becomes a bottleneck, limiting cognitive abilities such as creativity and fluid intelligence, ability to solve new problems, use logic in new situations, etc. So, the researchers asked, if would it be possible to overcome the working memory bottleneck? The recent technical advances have not only been big, they have also been fast. I must see him before he flies out to London for about a week. Very little of the work of today's knowledge firm is repetitive or mechanical. Information is being given to readers in a format that looks familiar. The interaction of climate change and soil degradation will probably aggravate conditions. Some of the questions that scholars ask seem to the world to be scarcely worth asking.
Something happened in the past, and a historian would like to know what. Wherever the biological sciences are studied, Darwin's origin of species lights the path. Values change both meaning and intensity where our interest is involved. Instead of being judgmental, we would be proactive and objective in our behavior. The subconscious mind and the environment are the determinants of the conscious mind. Psychologists like to dip into the fascinations of the yet unknown.